see the next topic is colloids already you were know that know about that uh, solutions first solution we will discuss earlier then suspension suspension and then third one is colloids see first uh, the solutions means what it is a homogeneous mixer of two or more substances two or more substances suspension and colloid is a heterogeneous mixer heterogeneous mixer see what is the differences between the homogeneous and the heterogeneous first the homogeneous mean the completely dissolved that substance completely miscible so the solution is a transparent for example nacl and water this mean the nacl dissolved the sodium chloride dissolved in water okay the similarly sugar in uh, water so these are called homogeneous mixer now the suspension and the colloids the suspension and the colloids is a heterogeneous mixer this mean the two different particles you can see here the homogeneous uh, mixer you cannot see with your naked eye but in heterogeneous solution, uh, mixer you can see with your neck, naked eye you can see the suspension for example salt uh, soil in water chalk powder in water these are called suspension see the suspensions are particles are allowed to settle down this particles are allowed to settle down here the solution is the particles are miscible completely dissolved that is completely miscible then the colloids it is a heterogeneous mixer but particle does not allow to settle down for example uh, lime juice in water lime juice in water or milk in water so these are called colloids okay see uh, the particles does not allow to settle down i will uh, do some simple uh, demonstration uh, what is a uh, true solution what is a uh, suspension and the colloids see students uh, look at this uh, these three containers uh, full of waters now i am going to show which one is uh, homogeneous mixer that is solution and which one is suspension and the which one is colloids see uh, look this is a milk okay and this is chalk powder and and one more thing is this is sugar okay first of all i am going to add this sugar in this first container okay then the sugars are completely dissolved see look students now the sugars are completely dissolved you can see uh, see the particles are miscible that's mean the sugar uh, substances are completely dissolved in water now the solution is transparent you can see that solution is transparent now the second one i am going to add the chalk powder see the chalk powder does not dissolve look this now i mixed this chalk powder in water 
after some times the particles are slowly settled down in that water molecule see after some times uh, you can uh, you cannot see that uh, that's mean the transparent the first one having a transparent but the second one you cannot see because the particles are settled down in the bottom of the container now the third one this is milk i am going to add some drops of milk see look this see look the, uh, look now the solution is uh, that trans is it is not a transparent see the first one transparent the second one particles are slowly settled down you can see that uh, bottom of the surface uh, in this first one that is homogeneous mixer the second one is suspension see the second one is a suspension the second one is a suspension the third one is look at this uh, this is called colloids that's mean the particles are uh, does not allow to settle down uh, that particles moving that entire particles are moving around the container it does not settle down these uh, two look at these two see now uh, completely uh, uh, see uh, particles are settled down the chalk powders are settled down here here the completely miscible these two extremes that is these two extreme that means one is completely dissolved and miscible and one is immiscible this is a homogeneous mixer this is a heterogeneous mixer look this this is a heterogeneous mixer between these two look the first one and second one the between these two uh, this is called colloid the, that's mean the particle does not allow to settle down okay so first one is a solution homogeneous mixer then uh, suspension the third one is colloids see student the suspension you can see clearly the clear uh, the clear water is see upper layer is a clear water then that bottom of the layer is called the suspension that is the chalk powders are settled down okay in this it will take some times it's a slow process okay so uh, you were observed that is which is solution which is substance uh, suspension then colloids now we are going to discuss the colloids okay then types of colloids we will see first colloids having in a heterogeneous mixer so it has dispersed phase and dispersed medium dispersed phase and dispersed medium now uh, what is dispersed uh, phase and uh, what is the dispersed medium? See, the particles are sk uh, skirted. The dispersed phase is the system that is which one substance is dispersed as a very fine particle. Uh, the another substance is called a dispersed medium. Uh, for example, uh, that uh, uh, collides the lime juice. Lime juice. See, the lime juice uh, dissolved in water, the lime is uh, dissolved in water. What happened? The lime juice uh, dissolved in water means what happened? You can see that uh, particle because the size of the particle is bigger. Then the water is act as a dispersed medium. Okay. So that is, uh, the definition is uh, it is a heterogeneous system in which one substance is dispersed as very fine particles that is called a dispersed phase and another substance is called dispersed medium that is dispersion medium or dispersion medium okay so uh, these uh, two is a very different 
particle size that is the size of the particle uh, for example uh, see the uh, the size of the particle between the uh, range is uh, 1 to uh, 1000 nanometer 1 to 1000 nanometer that is 10 power minus 9 to 10 power minus 6 meter okay this is the particle uh, size that is the suspension uh, uh, like a particle size of the particle now see now the colloidal particles have enormous surface area per unit mass see uh, that uh, say for example uh, consider a cube consider a cube so one cube having totally uh, look at this cube with a 1 centimeter all these along 1 centimeter 1 centimeter side so this side this side this side and this side totally 6 faces are there that is 6 surfaces so 6 centimeter okay uh, each one 1 1 centimeter each one side having 1 1 centimeter okay the total surface is what 6 centimeter square right 6 uh, centimeter square okay if it were divided equally into 10 power 12 uh, the cubes that is 10 power 12 times the cubes are equally divided what happens the cubes would be the size uh, the size of large colloidal particle and have a total surface area is what 60,000 centimeter square or 6 meter square okay this means the larger the surface area that means the surface areas are increasing okay so uh, the particle size is also uh, see the particle size are like this in a uh, colloids having the particle sizes like this you can see your naked eye But in a solution, you cannot see. But in a solution, you cannot see. Uh, completely miscible. Okay. The particle size is bigger. Now, uh, the next is the type of colloid. The type of colloid we will discuss. See, the classifications of colloid. The classifications of colloid. Uh, there are three types. The physical state of dispersed phase and the dispersion medium the dispersed phase and the dispersed medium that is first one the second one is nature of the interaction between the dispersed phase and dispersion medium then third one is type of the particle size in the uh, dispersed phase okay these are the classifications of colloid now this uh, type of colloidal system we are going to first one the physical state of dispersed phase and the dispersed medium that is dispersion medium see in case the dispersed phase and the dispersed medium this dm indicates dispersed me dispersion medium this is dispersed phase and type of collide and example now look at this uh, we know that the solid liquid gas the dispersed phase is solid and the dispersed medium also solid dispersed phase is solid and the dispersed medium also solid the type of colliders solid salt okay the solid salt then uh, the example is some colored uh, gemstone that is glass gemstone like this glass gemstone so the solid dispersed in solid okay then next is the dispersed phase is solid but the dispersed medium is a liquid the dispersed medium is a liquid this is called a sol the very important one what is mean by sol sol mean the sol is dispersed phase act as a solid and dispersion medium act as a liquid that is called sol so example is paint and cell fluids paints and cell fluids then the dispersed phase is solid and the dispersed medium is gas the medium is gas so the type of colliders aerosol aerosol so the aerosol example is dust 
and smoke so dust and smoke so the uh, now the dispersed phase is act as a liquid so look at this three is a dispersed phase only solid now the dispersed phase is liquid liquid means the dispersed medium also liquid dispersed phase liquid and dispersed medium also liquid what is uh, called it is emulsions this is called emulsions and example is milk hair cream like this milk hair cream like this then the dispersed phase is liquid and the dispersed uh, dispersion medium is solid dispersed medium is solid so this type of uh, uh, type of colloid is called gel this type of colloid is called gel uh, example is cheese butter jellies like this then dispersed phases liquid and the dispersion medium is gas one this is also called the aero sol aero sol so the aero uh, aero sol example is fog mist cloud so these are the example now the third one is dispersed phases gas dispersed phases gas the dispersed medium also uh, sorry the dispersed medium is solid then a yeah, type of solid is what solid sol type of solid is solid sol uh, then uh, this example is foam rubber foam rubber then dispersed phases gas and dispersed medium is liquid dispersed medium is liquid this is foam example soap leather soap leather uh, then uh, cream wiped cream so these are the examples so this is the uh, types of a colloidal system the second one uh, the first one uh, discussed this is physical state of dispersed phase and the dispersed medium this is the cla classification colloids the first type the second type is nature of the interaction between the dispersed phase and dispersion medium that is called lyophilic and lyophobic lyophilic and lyophobic sol are colloids lyophilic colloids are lyophobic colloids see in this uh, lyophilic and lyophobic we uh, will have one uh, practical experiment that is preparation of starch sol and the preparation of ferric hydroxide sol uh, that is the example of lyophilic and lyophobic uh, colloids okay first you must know that what are the lyophilic and, and what are lyophobic the lyophilic mean this is solvent attracting solvent attracting and the lyophobic means that is solvent repelling solvent repelling solvent lyophilic means solvent attracting lyophobic mean solvent repelling see the lyophilic first one is the lyophilic colloids the lyophilic that is already is a uh, solvent attracting so the lyophilic is also liquid loving this is a liquid loving liquid loving one so the liquid the colloidal salt directly formed by the mixing substances like gum gelatin starch so these are the example uh, etc with the suitable liquid like a dispersion medium that is the suitable liquid mean that is a dispersion medium are called lyophilic sol so these are called lyophilic sol the, the with the uh, see the characteristics 
the dis uh, characteristics of li lyophilic colloids is the dispersion medium the sol is that yeah, dispersion medium is separated the dispersion medium is separated from the dispersive phase from the dispersive phase uh, the sol can be reconstituted by the simply remixing with the dispersion medium so that is why these are reversible sol these are called a reversible sol so uh, see uh, this cannot be easily coagulate and uh, this lyophilic uh, salts are cannot be easily coagulate then the next one is this lyophobic the lyophobic means lyophobic liquid heating this is liquid loving this is liquid heating this is liquid heating this uh, like uh, sulfides example is sulfide sulfide see uh, metal uh, like this metal also you can tell metal also that is a liquid heating when uh, the simply mixed with the dispersion medium this substance mixed with dispersion medium do not form any colloidal sol so the colloidal sol can be prepared by the special method uh, that is on heating we will discuss later that is we will uh, do in our laboratory okay uh, such as uh, colloids are called lyophobic colloid. See, these salts are readily precipitated uh, on the, that is, it, it can be coagulated. This not be coagulated, but this can be coagulated. Addition of the small amount of the electrolytes by heating or shaking. You can heat or shaking. So, uh, and are not stable, and are not stable. Uh, once precipitated means that they do not give any back the colloidal sol. Simply addition of the dispersion medium so that uh, it is a irreversible. It is a irreversible nature. The first one is reversible nature. Lyophilic is a reversible nature. The second one is irreversible. Irreversible nature. First one is reversible. Second one is irreversible in nature. Then the classification of colloid, third point is what? Uh, particles of uh, size of the part, the particles of dispersive phase. Uh, that is, particles of dispersive phase mean that is, uh, there are uh, uh, types of some colloids that, that, that is, multi molecular colloids, multi molecular colloids, then uh, macro molecular colloids. Associated colloids, macromolecules, associated like this. These are the uh, example of this uh, dispersed phase of this. See, uh, first you must know this: what are multi-molecular colloids, what are macromolecular colloids, what are associated colloids. Okay. First, the multi-molecular colloid. Uh, the multi-molecular colloid is on dissolution. On a dissolution, a large number of atoms or smaller molecules of a substance aggregate together to form species having size in the colloidal range. That is, the diameter range is, diameter range is uh, greater, uh, less than 1 nanometer. Less than 1 nanometer. So, these are called multi-molecular colloid. Example, gold uh, example gold salt gold salt uh, that is the gold salt containing many uh, particles that is various size having many atoms that is sulfur salt gold salt or sulfur salt like this that is that having uh, con consist of particles containing thousands or more uh, thousands of particles are appear then um, S6, S8 molecules. So, these are the examples of multi molecular colloid. Then, the macro molecular colloids. The macro molecular colloids means the suitable solvent, the suitable solvent from solution in which the size of the macro molecules, the size of the macro molecules may be in the colloidal range. So, this type of uh, particles called uh, molecules called macro molecule molecular colloids. I repeat this: uh, suitable solvent from solution in which the size of macro molecule, size of the macro molecule, may be in the colloidal range. 
so uh, this type is called macromolecular colloids so these are uh, quite stable these are unstable these are quite stable and uh, resemble true solution in many respect example uh, naturally occurring macromolecules like cellulose starch proteins so these enzymes so these are called the macromolecular colloids then uh, some uh, synthetic preparation in synthetic rubber polyethylene nylon 66 like this polyester these also example for macromolecular colloid then associated colloid or micel associated colloid or micel substance which had low concentration uh, associated colloid is substance which has low concentration behave as a normal strong electrolyte but the higher concentration lower concentration lower concentration means that is behave normal strong electrolyte strong electrolyte but at formation of uh, that higher con uh, concentration exhibit the colloidal behavior concentration is increases behavior as a colloidal colloidal behavior due to the formation of aggregate so the aggregated particles the formed as a, the aggregated particles are called micelles the aggregated particles are called micelles so these are also called what associated colloids so the formation of micelle takes place only at the particular temperature the micelle formation only above at particular temperature this temperature is called craft temperature craft temperature this the craft temperature in particular see particular range the uh, only above the particular temperature range that is called craft temperature you can uh, denote tk uh, and the above the particle concentration the particular the above the particular concentration called critical micelle concentration critical micelle micelle concentration that is cmc simply you can denote cmc see uh, the synthetic detergents like this uh, example uh, for uh, soaps like the cmc critical concentration micelle is 10 power minus 4 to 10 power minus 3 mole per liter mole per liter so uh, these colloids having both lyophilic and the lyophobic parts so uh, Um, uh, that that means the hund uh, hundreds are uh, other more than hundred molecules. Okay, these are called uh, associated molecule like micelles. So micelles uh, mechanism of micelle formation. Mechanism of micelle formation. Mechanism of micelle formation. That is the sodium stearate. That is uh, already we discussed in um, the detergents like uh, chemistry in everyday life. See the sodium stearate hydrophobic. Uh, the sodium stearate. The formula is what C seventeen H thirty five C O O minus N A plus. This formula is uh, the chemical name is sodium uh, sodium stearate. Sodium stearate. See, look this up to this and this. This having one negative part and this having a positive part. Okay, this. negative part this negative part is called the particularly this uh, like for example c17 h35 and c double bond o, o like this o minus c double bond o o minus look at this this negative part and this hydrocarbon this is stearate ion so the complete is stearate ion this is hydrophobic tail this hydrocarbon is hydro phobic tail and this is hydrophilic head hydrophilic head hydrophilic head so the hydrophilic tail is like this the hydrophilic tail is like this and the hy hydrophobic hydrophilic the hydrophobic tail this is hydrophobic tail and uh, this indicates c17 and h35 okay just i draw in bond line formula uh, then 
the hydrophobic head like this okay so the this is the steroid ion parts of the steroid ion okay then the steroid ions in water what happens the steroid ion in water what happens mean see this look like this is the water and the steroid ion like this so the steroid ion like this attract to the then the ionic missile formation like this the ionic missile formation like this see uh, CO see this is the ionic missile this is ionic missile okay so the rcoo minus the rcoo minus answer that is the surface of the coo minus this is r and this is a coo minus ion so the rcoo minus are therefore uh, the present on the surface of the molecules of the coo minus ion so the hydrocarbon chain that is this is r the entirely r the hydrocarbon chain staying away from it remain at the surface okay remains at the surface from it remain surface but at a critical missile concentration uh, the the ion uh, anions are pulled into the bulk of the solution and aggregated from the spherical shape of the hydrocarbon chains toward the center of the sphere with the coo part remaining out of the surface sphere so aggregated as uh, uh, known as the aggregate this formed as known as ionic missile okay then uh, cleansing actions of soap the cleansing actions of soap already we discussed in the chemistry in everyday life the next topic is preparation of collides